In problem number 27, we want to find the derivative of y equals x cubed times 3 to the x. In this problem, I have a function, x cubed, times another function, 3 to the x, that are multiplied together. So I do need to use the product rule here. Uh, so the product rule says that if I take this derivative, dy over dx, then I should take the first guy and leave him alone. So I take x cubed and just leave it alone times the derivative of 3x. Uh, I'm sorry, 3 to the x power. Uh, so if I multiply by three, uh, the derivative of 3 to the x power, it's not e to the x, it's 3 to the x. But I treat it almost exactly the same. I when I take the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. When I take the derivative of 3 to the x, it's 3 to the x. But then I have to remember to multiply by one extra thing because the base is an e. So I have to multiply by an additional natural log of 3. OK, so we've got the first thing was x cubed times the derivative of 3 to the x, which is 3 to the x times ln of 3, plus, now I need to take the second function, leave it alone, so 3 to the x, times the derivative of the first guy. Now this is just x cubed, so I can just use the power rule, and the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Now, if we wanted to simplify this a little bit, I suppose that we could. Uh, there's not a lot to do here. So this is just x cubed uh, times 3 to the x times ln 3. And the second piece is plus. Um, well, there are many ways we could write this, but we could write that this is 3 to the x plus 1 times x squared. And there's my derivative.